Hello everyone, I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different from what everyone's used to. So everyone knows me as Mr. Singh Plays, aka Rajvi Singh, aka uh, the Singh Gamer. But today is actually a very important day um, in Sikh history. And so I thought it would be a nice um, kind of a uh, way of helping other people understand exactly why we celebrate today um, why we celebrate Vizaki, why we celebrate uh, the Khalsa Sajna Divas um, and so today's video is going to be based around that so if you guys want to see more stuff like this or if you want to hear my general thoughts about other things like this or if you guys want to see more gaming related stuff um, as well uh, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know in the comments as well and I'll definitely try uh, my very best to get as much content out as possible Without any further ado, let's get into the video. Sikhi is a religion that revolves around spiritual awakening, sacrifice and righteous living. Throughout the history of the world, the Sikhs as a Panth have pulled off the most incredible feats, whether that's winning battles, becoming recognized scholars, inventing day-to-day -day items or serving others. During the 239 years the Gurus roamed the earth in human form, the character of their followers was pushed past social norms, repressive practices and meaningless rituals to create a Panth that could now host the physical form of the Guru, the Guru Khalsa Panth. To understand how that happened, we'd have to start right from the beginning. Since Guru Nanak Sahib, the Sikh's first Guru, came to this world in 1469, we were separated from all other religions. Guru Nanak taught us the path of discussion, logic and debate. Whether that is in Siddh Gosht, Babrabani or Guru Nanak Sahib's discourses with the Qazis, this was necessary at the time as the Brahminical society had driven people to think that they were inferior through ridicule and suffering. Social status, caste and money played a large factor in what people were able to do and so-called Western ideas like gender equality, fair treatment and human rights were nothing more than a pipe dream. Guru Nanak Sahib therefore had to start by destroying the mental slavery that had entrapped everyone through logical discourse and consequential thinking. And in doing so he rejected Hinduism and Islam and so the Tisarpant or the third way was created and that was Gursikhi on the basis of which Guru Nanak Sahib establishes a kingdom of truth. Nanak Raj Chalaya Sach Kot Stani Nivde. So, as well as creating a religion, Guru Nanak Sahib Ji established a kingdom through which those who became part of the Nirmal Panth, which later transformed into the Khalsa Panth, would lead the oppressed into freedom. And thus began the journey to attain Halim Miraj for Sarbatta Pala. At the time to become a Gursik, Jaran Paul was administrated to the Sikhs as an initiation, removing the five vices and allowing them to accept Hukam. Guru Angad Sahib established the formal teachings of Gurmukhi as well as learning Gurbani. But whilst having said that, they battled against Karmkand or false rituals and superstitions while starting Malakaras or wrestling in the Panth, again showing the importance of Shastra Vidya or weaponry training. The Taramsals or the Gurdwaras were created as a way of developing the Khalsa character efficiently. Guru Amar Das Ji sat on the throne of the Guru Gaddi and ensured that each Sikh had the humility to selflessly serve anyone, the compassion to help people and the courage to do the right thing. They firmly stood against sexist practice such as Sati, the burning of widows, granting women an equal place within the Panth. The establishment of the Manjis and the Pira system was a way of providing an administrative skill set to the Panth that would later be used for ruling. Guruji, as we know, treated everyone the same, whether that was Emperor Akbar, the current king of India, or Pai Jetaji. Guru Ram Das Ji sits on the throne and focuses on establishing a state as every religion requires some sort of home base or sovereignty to flourish. The establishment of Amritsar began, the building of the Sarovar and the formal teaching of Kirtan. Their debate with Akbar proves Guru Nanak Sahib's philosophy of debate and discourse and established Sikhs as deep thinking, sovereign beings who would challenge authority when others were being oppressed.
With the Gurugaddi staying within the Sodhi family, the fifth Guru, Guru Arjan Sahib Ji, created Sri Darbar Sahib, with the foundations being laid by a Muslim peer, Saimi Amir. Four entrances were created so that anyone from any direction, caste, creed, religion or background could come and bask in freedom. However, only one Darshani Jyoti was made. Why? Because if you want to be part of the Panth, then there is only one way, to become a Sikh. The Adhagran Sahib was written and compiled, providing a religious text to the reforming religion. Guru Arjan Sahib Ji also teaches us the importance of self-sacrifice through his own martyrdom, where the Guru is being sacrificed and the Sikhs were watching. Our character was still evolving from those people who thought that the Mughals would go blind by a simple mantra to the great Sikh warriors our history is made up of today. So through the first hundred years or so of the first five Sikh Gurus, we have our morals and ideals established as well as our social, political and historical views. According to Principal Sathabir Singh's writings, Guru Sahib gives the Gurgaddi to Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji, our sixth Guru, before going to Lahore. Similarly, Pai Gurdas Ji writes as well, Panj Piyale, Panj Peer, Shatham Peer, Baitha Gurpari, Arjan Kaya Palt Ke, Murat Hargobind Savari, Challi Peedi Sodhiya, Roop Dikhavan Varovari, Dal Panjan, Gur Surma, Vad Joda, Bopar Upakari. Our sixth Guru teaches us the importance of Miri Peedi, temporal and spiritual power. In order to solidify this concept in the Panth, Guru Arjan Sahib Ji Shihiddi was necessary as anyone who calls themselves the Sikh of the Guru will have to understand that it is part of their duty to live like the Guru. A great example of this is Pat Kirat Ji, whose Bani we read every morning in Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Ham Avgun Pare, Ek Gun Nahi, Amrit Shad, Bikha Bik Khahi, Maya Moho, Param Pai Pule, Sut Dara, Siyom Preet Lagai, Ek Uttam Panth, Suniyo Gur Sangat, Tehe Milant, Jamatras Mitai, Ek Kiyar Das, Paat Kirat Ki, Guru Ram Das, Rakho Sarnai. So Paat Kirat Ji writes this Gurbani and, at, and becomes a famed warrior due to their character developing and even becomes Shaheed in the Battle of Amritsar. Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji also established the Akal Takh Sahib opposite to Darbar Sahib. Doing so made it clear that Sikhs would battle for sovereignty whether peacefully or with weapons. And it was from this point on that Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji referred to the Sikh Sangat as Guru Da Khalsa. Guru Har Rai Ji taught us to care for nature, the environment and our natural being. But as well as the PD side, Guru Sahib kept 2200 Sikh soldiers with them at all times and ensured that the formal teachings of martial arts and Gurmat continued. We all know the Sakhi of how Aurangzeb asked to meet with Guru Har Rai Ji, who refused to do so and then sent their son Ram Rai to meet with Aurangzeb. However, falling into worldly pleasure, he changed a Pankti of Gurbani which made Guru Sahib disown him. This showed two things. Number one, the importance of Gurbani and its pronunciation and the second, that nothing is more significant than Guru Sikhi. After the Gurgaddi was passed on to Guru Har Krishan Sahib Ji, Guru Sahib taught us that age did not mean wisdom. The youngest Guru, who also refused to meet with Aurangzeb despite his many attempts to do so. Guru Sahib still went to Delhi on the Sangat's request and even gave the Sangat Darshan. According to Principal Sadhbir Singh's writings, Guru Har Krishan Sahib Ji gave the Gurgaddi to Guru Teg Bahadur Sahib whilst they were still alive and then sent them on to Bakala. Next, the ninth Guru, Guru Teg Bahadur Sahib Ji, fought in battles, continued to teach Shastra Vidya and Gurmat Vidya. They established the city of Anandapur, which would later become the home of the Khalsa Panth. Similarly, like their father, Guru Sahib was also referred to the Sikh Sangat as Siri Guru Jida Khalsa. Fast forward and we have the Shahidi of Guru Teg Bahadur Sahib Ji, and as the government narrative has taught us to think, Guru Sahib has been referred to Hindi Chadar on many occasions. Coming back to Sri Guru Sobha, Kavi Senapat writes, Pragat Pai Guru Teg Bahadur, Sagal Srisht Pai Tapi Chadar. So our definition of Guru Teg Bahadur Sahib Ji Shahidi was about freedom for all, not just the Hindus of India. The miraculous nature of Gurmat was that by the time of Guru Sahib Shahidi, Sikhs were martyrs before the Guru was.
the character of the Sikhs had been elevated to the point where they were now able to give their heads for the Guru and for righteous living. So coming back to Guru Gobind Singh Ji and Vizaki 1699, this was the final test that Guru Nanak Sahib had written in their Bani all those years before. Jauta Prem, Khilan Ka Chao, Siratar Tali Gali Mariyao, Itamarg Pairtri Jai, Sirdi Jai, Kanana Ki Jai. Now those same people who, like previously discussed, were waiting for miracles to come and save them, were now powerful enough to give their head except death and had the high character of the Guru. So on the day of 1699, when Guru Gobind Singh Ji came onto the stage and asked for a head of a Gursikh, it was only natural that only those people who had raised their characters to that point would stand up and give their heads. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little explanation about Vizaki and how um, our 10 Gurus took us on this journey. Please, if you guys did enjoy it, let me know. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, talking about Sikhism, then again, please let me know. And I will try and get some more out as well as much as possible. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.